Big news in the automotive industry today. Borg Warner just completed its acquisition of Delphi. And boy, that's big news in this industry. Right now, I'm speaking with Fred Lassad. He is the president and chief executive officer of Borg Warner. And Fred, thanks for your time today. Thank you for having me, John. What drove this acquisition? I mean, where'd you get the idea to go after Delphi and acquire it? What were some of the thinkings behind that? You know, John, this this combination uh, is absolutely strengthening our ability uh, in electronics, in power electronics, in software. And uh, with Delphi, we have this ability to complement all our mechanical and motor uh, products uh, of great quality at scale in three continents with power electronics and electronics. And I think we're gonna create something really unique here where under one roof, you're gonna have mechanical, motor, and motor controller software uh, uh, together. And I think we're gonna be able to create some pretty neat product and pretty neat, pretty neat systems for our customers going forward. What does this do to the size of Borg Warner acquiring something like Delphi? Well, pre-COVID uh, in 2019, uh, with 2019 numbers, we would be uh, about 14 and a half billion uh, company. Uh, we have about now about 48,000 people and run about 100 plants and tech centers around the, around the globe. So that's what, about a 40% increase in size for Borg Warner? That's, that's, that's about right, John, yes. That's a that's a big uh, increase in size there. Yeah, I mean, more importantly than the increase in size, it's the it's the focus on technology, which was really important for us. So I alluded to a little bit uh, about the electronics and software that we bring in the company. Um, Delphi has a great aftermarket business, uh, and we have a great aftermarket business. And combining those two aftermarket businesses. It's going to be about about a 1.4 billion dollar worth aftermarket business, uh, and we also believe us that absolutely the electrification trend is profound, and we are actually a player in this trend. The the uh, IDM for the uh, Mac E is a good example, right? Made by made by Borg Warner, uh, and this is only going to accelerate and, and and give us the ability to compete in this market. We are also of the opinion that there is still a lot of technology, a lot of improvement to be done in the combustion engines and the combustion side in transmissions and in hybrid powertrain architecture. So if you want to make, like us, the world cleaner and more energy efficient, focusing on battery electric vehicle is absolutely important and we want to be overweight in this. But there is 90% of the cars that are currently being produced, they still have a combustion engine. Co combined com combine with a very lean transmission or even a hybrid propulsion architecture. And we think we can add a lot of values there and make the world cleaner and more energy efficient, working on battery electric vehicle, but also making the current technology even leaner and cleaner. Yeah, that was one of, going to be one of my questions. Borg Warner is especially known, uh, or excuse me, Delphi is especially known for its combustion technology you clearly still see a good business case for that business. Yes. Yes. You know, for in, in combustion, uh, I'll take an example um, or a couple of examples. Uh, I take injection for trucks, for example. Delphi is absolutely a key player for diesel truck injection. And we see uh, electrification of trucks and we like that a lot. We're actually playing in this field. But we, we also feel that, you know, the truck and uh, the, the, the CO2, the consumption from, from those trucks, they're gonna have to improve based on the current combustion technology for many years to come. We think we can make a difference there too. A look at GDI. GDI is in growth mode, like our turbo business still, because any good combustion uh, powertrain, any good hybrid powertrain architecture nowadays is, is, is most probably gonna be coupled with a very efficient turbo and GDI gasoline engine. And we think we can add a lot of value there. There is a lot of, uh, a, a lot of growth in this sector for the foreseeable future uh, without losing sight again that the fact that the electrification is profound 
Electrification does not mean battery electric vehicle. There are many different facets of electrification. And at Borg Warner, we're playing very, very, very big in the battery electric vehicle area. But we want to be a player in all those different facets to make the world cleaner and more, more energy efficient. Fred, how do you think automakers are going to proceed in a make versus buy uh, decision when it comes to battery electrics? You know, just to use two U.S. companies as an example, polar opposites, General Motors is looking at doing almost everything in-house. Mm -hmm. Right now, at least for the time being, Ford's looking at buying everything. How do you think yeah. that's going to shake out or is it going to just simply vary by company? That's exactly right. It's going to vary by company. And I expect that within a company, it's going to vary too, depending on the volumes and depending on the regions. At Borg Warner, our goal is to be able to supply a system, but we don't have to supply a system. We want to be able to talk systems, supply a system for customers who want a system, but also supply components and subcomponents for customers who want to make their system in-house. The fact that we can talk system from a, from a mechanical side, from a rotating electric side, and from a software and control side and electronic side makes us at least in the converse, make, make, give us a seat in that conversation, give us a seat at that table to be able to explore system opportunities. And, and that I think is gonna give us more uh, opportunities and options to either sell a system when the customer wants a system or sell a subsystem when the customer wants to make the system in-house. It's not going to be a one size fits all it's, gonna, it's not going to be a silver bullet. Customers around the world are going to use many different manufacturing and make or buy strategy, but at least we're going to be one of the only ones they talk to when it's, when it's around de developing a system because not too many people can do that. Yeah, no, that's a really good point. Do you think some will come to you and just ask for a complete turnkey solution? Absolutely. And what about batteries then? And I, I was reading something online getting ready for this interview. Romeo Systems, this is a company that you're associated with that's uh, developing batteries. What can you tell us about that? So as, uh, as, as you know, we've taken a, a, a stake in Romeo systems a few months ago uh, and um, we have 20 percent of romeo inc and we own a, a john venture 6040 for pretty much the rest of the the rest of the world besides the us we're very proud about their technology we saw that when we invested in them they are they had the right technology and you can see that in new in new purchase orders now so we're very very proud to to be with romeo and and being part of uh, of their of their future, with Delphi, uh, you are we are creating a Borg Warner that not only has downstream the battery, the winning equation, which is mechanical plus motor plus power electronics equal system, but John, we have also we we have all the products from stationary charging to moving the wheels of, of a battery electric vehicle or a hybrid vehicle, from stationary charging to onboard charging, to battery packs, to battery management system, battery cooling, inverter, motor, transmission, DC, DC converter, I forgot. You know, efficiency in the battery electric vehicle is gonna be extremely important. We're not gonna talk about fuel efficiency, but we're gonna talk about efficiency with efficiency comes range or cost. And also with efficiency, the less electrons we use to moving the wheels of this vehicle can be used for other trends like connected or autonomous driving. And, and we are going to be one of the only guys in the world that can uh, fine tune this efficiency, the mechanical efficiency, together with the motor efficiency, together with the software efficiency, all those connections, making sure that we have the right package, that we are optimizing all the design features because we have all that under one roof. Uh, if you have the motor and if I have the power electronics, we're going to have to open each other to the good, the bad and the ugly of our products because no product is perfect. It's much easier to do that under one roof than if we're not under one roof. 
and now you bring the transmission on top of it. So some customers will welcome this expertise and, and we, we, we are very excited and thrilled about being able to, to provide that to, the, to, the, to our customers in Pascal and in commercial vehicles. Well, the stock market sure is thrilled with what you're doing. Uh, I see that your stock is up 5% today, and I was really surprised to learn that your stock price has doubled since early March. So the market must really like what you're doing there, Fred. I trust the market. <laughs> That's great. Fred LaSalle, thanks so much for your time today. Uh, very big news in the supplier industry with the acquisition of Delphi by Borg Warner. Congratulations on your move. Thank you. And I want to thank the Delphi Technologies employees and the Borg Warner employees for a great work that they've done during the integration planification in the middle of a pandemic, uh, mostly virtual. So great, great work from both teams. Thank you very much. And thank you for having me, John. Very good. So long, Fred.